Hello everybody, welcome back to Barrel's Garage. What's going on? Well, I can see by the response from the last video, you guys are a little interested on this, uh, this little small block Chevy and the, those weird casting numbers that just don't add up to numbers matching, right? <laughs> that's, a, that's why I've always, uh, when people say, oh yeah, numbers matching, I kind of roll my eyes a little bit because uh, it means a little bit different things than what they're actually thinking it is. Well, <laughs> I actually have another video that I was going to put out, but you guys all kind of responded really good for that one, so curiosity got the cat, and I went ahead and let's just dive in. I'll show you some of the more of the nuances with the 010 block. Uh, Chevy's, like, they call cream of the crop. Heck, I even, I'm guilty of that too. So let's deep dive into this uh, 010 Chevy some more. And let's find out just exactly what it is. Is it a 302 Gold? Is it a 350? Is it a 327 Large Journal? Now, you hear me say that in that way. Yeah, the 327 Large Journal, it's not much for performance. It's a truck engine. It's an industrial engine. It's a... Uh, you can make power with them, but yeah, they take some work. Fortunately, it's a Chevy, so it's easy work. <laughs> but anyway, and it could be a two bolt, or it could be the four bolt. Oh, the super strong four bolt that everybody wants. That, like I said, is uh, kind of mediocre. Doesn't really matter. But let's see what exactly we got in this Chevy 010 block. Let's take a look. Now you can see, I did flip it over. I made sure everything was drained out of it and went ahead and flipped her over. I already took the bolts out of it, so I got my screwdriver here ready and we're gonna break her loose. That's pretty easy. Make sure she's all loose as a goose and let's pull this pan and find out what we got. It's real simple and I can always throw a little silicone on it and stick it back on to pressure wash it. So I'll do this for you guys. Whoa. Things are looking up. I'll get you over here a little closer so you can see. There we go, you can see one, two, three, four, four bolt main. Sweet as butter. Oh, we got things marked here. Oh, this engine has been rebuilt. How can I tell? Guys that don't have a dimple, uh, the number stamps, they'll take a a center punch and then they'll punch these the flat spot on the rod journals here and you stamp them usually you don't do number one but let's see yeah he did number one too you put one ping two pings three pings four pings you know just take a center punch set it in there ping ping well there's only one reason to do that this engine has been rebuilt I know that now. Somebody has been in here and done something to it that they had to take the pistons out. So, we know that for sure now. And, well, I can tell right away what I'm looking at here. But, I'll do it here for you guys. Uh, should have grabbed my wrench to roll her over. Uh, she definitely got compression. <sighs> Ooh, they scratched a number five in that one. I guess they run out of pingers for that one. And dig in. You can go off of numbers, but where's the fun in that? <sighs> you see these? Little bitty lightweights like that? Let's roll her back. I don't want to go all the way back around. <sighs> uh, 
There we go. I'll get her to stand up there. That makes it nice and easy. Okay, I'll take you over here. So, before I get into that, I've kind of given you some clues here, but it is a four bolt. That's a plus, that's a good plus. So she is a four bolt. Now we'll come over here and take a look. On the back side. Now if y'all paid attention, because I'm gonna give credit here to uh, Alva. Uh, he goes by A-L-V-A -A on here. Uh, go back and watch my uh, first part of this. You can see I put a uh, link there for him. Or, or I'll put a link in the bottom of this video for him. Uh, in my community page, I just posted a go check out Alva thing. He's got a good one on these right here. See the back of the crankshaft? Now it looks like it goes full circle there, but it's got a little hat on it there. See how it comes up like this? Well, let's get it in there. See how it comes up like that? And then it looks like it's got a little hat on it. Comes down and rolls back over. That's telling me it's 327. 350 should be straight up. Let's see if I can get a better camera angle here. If it was a 350, it would come straight up off of here and roll over. It's got these deep cutouts. I've only seen that on a 327, large journal 327. I'm thinking this is a 327 four bolt. Uh oh. <laughs> Four bolt should be 350. Two bolt should be 327. So what is going on here? These crank journals here, they look very small to me to be a 327. 350s are usually a lot bigger, a lot beefier. They've got deep cutouts in them, like a, like I said, like a 327 does. I would almost bet this is a 327 crank, probably put into a 350. Something has happened here. This engine went all bad. He probably did have it rebuilt, and it looks like a fresh rebuild. There's absolutely nothing in the screen here. The oil even feels good like it was actually pretty like it hasn't been run a whole lot it's been run but it hasn't been run a whole lot in fact that's even some residue there it looks like from uh, pre lube I don't know there's something going on here <laughs> Uh, but from everything I can look at, like I said, because of this shape right here, that looks like a three, 327 large journal crank. For some reason, is in a four bolt main. Usually, the 327 large bolt large journal was only put in the two bolt. So. And like I said, there's stamps on these connecting rods. So I know somebody has pulled this apart. Like I said, that looks like, yeah, that's white lube. That's white lube residue on there. So somebody's been in here and done something. Now it looks like they stuck a 327 <laughs> crank in it. Which you can do in a Chevy because everything fits everything. There they are. 
So, what do we got there? Oh, it looks like I've got some more paint on. I'm, I'm wearing some Chevy. That's good. <laughs> uh, what it looks like to me is possibly, like I said, I've got a... Somebody's converted this 350 into a 327. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody has been in here. They, This is not a stock engine because it's got those stamps in the connecting rods there and the white assembly lube. So the skirts on the bottoms of the pistons, they, they look dang near brand new. Very little wear on them. Yeah, somebody's done something in here. I'm sure it's five, seven rods. Yeah. Weird things. Weird things you find in, uh, in Chevys because, like I said, everything fits everything. So people will put whatever they can put in there to keep them running. And that looks exactly what is going on here. So I'll give you one good quick overview of it before I throw the pan back on it because I don't like to leave any motor open like that. There, can you see that good? That's that hump there I was talking about. If it was a 350, it should come up here straight. It shouldn't have this cutout in it right here. So, from all I can gather, that looks like a 327 crank. But, according to the books, it should, if it's a 327, only have a two bolt main, but it's got a four bolt, which, you know, is Pretty cool, I can go with that. That cam looks, that cam looks pretty good. Just glancing at it there. Pistons look, those pistons are brand new. So it's got new pistons put in it. You can see there's no, there's no heat wear or anything on them. That's a piece of the gasket that fell in there. I don't know if they're anything special. They look like just stock replacement. And it, like I said, it has been run. You can see where it's run, but not much. I don't know. Got a big dampener on it. More like a 350 though. I don't know. This one's got me a little bit. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> uh, again, when you come into Chevy like this, where every part will fit everything, some people will mismatch, and that's when things get dangerous. And I'll show you an example over here. I'll take you back into my stash hole. Shh, don't tell anybody about this place. In fact, just look away. <laughs> we'll come back here to my other ones. Now this one here, this is a... 3914660, which is a 1968 uh, large journal 327. I know what that one is. Uh, this is actually an engine I put together for the wife's truck, that uh, 66 Chevy you see every once in a while in my videos and pictures. Now, this one, I know the story on. Uh, this one came out of my 69C30. Uh, I pulled it out to drop it into hers. Uh, the guy I got that truck from, he blew that truck up, the 327 that was in that truck. Uh, he blew it up, so he got this one from a local 
uh, machine shop shop around here and it's a built 327 <laughs> and the way they built it uh, you can kind of see it there you can see on the back of the crank there where it goes straight well they built it by putting a 350 crank in it and 350 heads on it <laughs> You can do that with these because uh, the Lars Journal 327 is a four inch bore, just like a 350. So all you gotta do is stick a 350 crank in it, boom. You know, you hopped up a 327. How'd you hop it up? I turned it into a 350. That's basically what's happened here. And this one has got the uh, 74 vintage, uh, 194 heads. Uh, these are good heads uh, because they're already, you know, they're, they've already got the hardened seats for unleaded gas. Uh, they're a light head. They do flow really well for 194s, but they were prone for cracking. But I know these ones are good, so <sighs> they're good heads as long as you can find good ones. Does that make sense? <laughs> when they overheat, they crack. But as long as you never overheat them, they don't crack. That, that's what I was trying to get at. Now over here, let me turn my light on again. This is another 010 block that I got. This one I've already had open. This one is a 4 bolt main. This one is a 350. There, we can get you in. See if I can get you down in there without turning the camera off. Right there. Right there. You see that? That's definitely a 350 crank. Uh. Ugh. But that one's got burnt valves in it. And I got to rebuild that one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the 350s you look for uh, get that off my head uh. and some of the nuances and crazy stuff you'll find with these Chevy engines because like I said everything will fit everything so when they would break down over the years especially out here in farm country people would just throw whatever they can throw in them to keep them running and they did and they kept them running uh, personally I love that about the Chevy uh, because parts are so readily available so easy to swap it's easy to do that kind of stuff with you can tell my brain is a thinking about this one here again everything that I see on that points to this being a 327 but That's where I am with this. Uh, I got to thank all of you for uh, the comments and everything. You guys, uh, on my last video, you were the inspiration behind this. And yeah, you, uh, you done got the gears of spinning in my head so fast I had to come out here and just pop this open and just see exactly what I got here. Uh, I'd already looked at the back of the crank, but I'm saving that for the video. This pro I'm gonna probably, we'll just call this the next video, all right? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, button this back up. I'll throw a little silicone down on it, just to keep water out. Put the pan back on it, tighten it back up, and then push it out inside and get ready to pressure wash in the cold. That's always fun. And this is what it's gonna be. This is the one that's gonna run. Why? Because <laughs> price was right on it. Thanks again, Cousin Mike. And uh, in the meantime, everybody, get out there and uh, it's metal hot and we'll keep these old girls on the road where they belong we'll catch you on the next one and be careful with chevy they're uh like i said they're not as easy as they sound even though they're too they're so easy that they're hard <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one